what is up guys my name is Fanningstro and today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial over uh, kind of like a breakdown video of the of the rings or the hula hoop things around the text in my Revo set it so just let me go over that quickly but before I go into it come on guys come on it's a sheep it's a flying sheep come on that's awesome Anyway, so uh, I'm just going to go into it quickly. So I have the Revo's uh, motion track right here, and then I have the exact same uh, exact same motion track with it already camera tracked, so you guys can do that. And I also have a null object. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to make a new uh, solid to call this element. And I'll obviously go into effects and presets and type an element, video cut play, copilot, and then hit control T to make, uh, whoopsies to get your text tool and then just type in your name so FNT and it's white so you can't see it but I'm just gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna turn off my FNT layer go to element um, I'm then I'm gonna go about halfway through and I'm gonna duplicate my motion track and I'm gonna delete the 3D camera tracker I'm gonna type in fast blur whatever type of blur you like the best fast, fast blur is my favorite and I'm gonna make the blurriness to 7 repeat edge pixels and then I'm gonna go time uh, freeze frame so what this does is I'm gonna use this as an environment layer so the text reflects uh, the environment of this motion track I'll get into that like when I show you how to do it but what you're gonna do is go to custom layers custom text and maps path layer one is FNT and go to custom texture maps uh, path layer one is track two uh, the frozen frame one and then I'm gonna go to scene setup I'm gonna go to environment click on this little arrow key and make it custom layer one okay and then I'm gonna hit extrude and there's my FNT text and I'm gonna hit, click on the environment and if I hit alt and down you can see that I can see my environment so that's why I did it that's why I turned the environment on so if we turn if we uh, drag a preset on so something that's shiny as you can tell it's reacting to the environment right now and if I alt, alt click as you can tell the shininess is reacting and it's really awesome and uh, yeah I'm actually surprised element is this smart and knows like everything about the environment but yeah so that's how you do it I'm just gonna change this quickly to a nice blue because blue is my favorite color okay then I'm just gonna tri um, minimize the materials then go to model browser I'm just gonna drag this bigger uh, go to primitives and just drag this little hula hoop thing okay and as you can tell we have a hula hoop okay then I'm going to go to materials and pro shaders. If you don't have it, then search it. And I'm just going to drag on a nice little black. And I'm going to make this uh, group two, duplicate the model, and make it group three. And you can make as many as you want. And I'm just going to show you how to do one of them, though, because I just want to show you the basics of it. But you can make them rotate whatever directions you want, and you can make as many as you want. But yeah, I'm just going to do uh, one ring and one uh, text for now. OK, so what I'm going to do. I just wait for it to load up because it takes a while okay there we go now I'm gonna go on my track null or my null object hit P for position go on to my element layer hit group one particle replicator and try to match up the position so I'm just gonna uh, make this 3000 and 2800 and six, uh, 6500 so something around there and then we'll go to particle look and change the size to something that's appropriate for your clip so I'm gonna make it 70 then I'm just gonna drag it up and what you can do you can just zoom out and just drag it up like that okay um, so we almost have the basics down and I'm just gonna drag this over to the side a bit actually okay then what we're gonna do is minimize the particle replicator and go to copy paste group copy this group go to group 2 which is the hoop and paste it so now the hoop is in the exact same dimensions as that thing now what we're gonna do is go to particle look and make the hoop bigger so if we zoom in just go like this and we're gonna make it bigger than the text itself so then it can do a full rotation around the text without like hitting it and glitching and everything then what we're gonna do is go to particle replicator and go to the beginning so as you can tell the hoop is around our text and we can actually move it over a bit oh I think I just moved the text over okay there we go we can move this oh whoopsies okay we can move it over a bit 
and that's good. Then just go to rotation, and we're just going to mess around with the rotation to see which one we want to rotate. So if I rotate this one, it goes sideways like that, so we don't want that. So I'm just going to zero, zero. Oopsies. Okay, so if I rotate this one, it nice does a nice little uh, rotation on the Z axis, so I'm going to do that. So hit zero, go to the beginning, keyframe it, uh, go towards the end, and just make this like three or something. And you don't want it to end uh, at a flat surface, obviously, so just change it like that. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. You can obviously add more um, hoops. And what you want to do to make it look even nicer is go to your element layer and add a motion blur. So at, if we go through, when it's spinning, as you can tell, we have a nice little motion blur. If I turn it off, you won't see the motion blur. But if I turn it on, it's uh, like pixelated there and it looks pretty nice. So what else What else we can do is go to project, uh, import. So I'm going to have a download link description. I did not create this. It's by uh, original templates. So I'll have him in the description as well. But I'll just show you how guys how to do it. So go to your project files, whatever. And go to track code particular. And just import it. And then click on this uh, little composition. Okay. And then control C, copy it. And just minimize it. Go back to your motion track, control V. And as you can tell, it's not full uh, full screen. That's because I'm in a, I'll show you, I'm in a 1920 by 1080p uh, composition. That's because of the cinematic was 1080p. But usually you wouldn't have to do this, but I'm going to have to do this. So I'm just going to have to uh, scale this up. So uh, 133, is that right? No, a bit bigger. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to put 150. Okay, so 150, that's good. And just reposition it a bit. And there we go. Then just drag this layer, because since Chaco Particular is a 3D plugin, it has a 3D layer already, so you don't need to make it 3D. Just drag it underneath the camera. And now we have the motion track particles, as well as the hoop, and you can add more hoops. So that's how you guys, that's how you can do it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I just want to talk to you guys quickly. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be uploading for... A few days, like I'm thinking, like five days. I just kind of want to take a break from YouTube and everything. Like I haven't like been doing bad on YouTube or anything lately. I just want to kind of like, uh, like kind of socialize, hang out with my friends, not really worry about anything. I just kind of want to do my own thing, you know. So like I know like I have a lot of subs. I got almost 700 now. And Social Blade says that I will hit 700 two days, but like I'm still not gonna post for a while just because of that. So I think I'm gonna. Next time I'll post is probably uh, next Wednesday. And uh, yeah, I just want to take a little break from it. And I might upload some Minecraft. So I might come back with more flying sheep and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to try to make my setup video sometime soon. And I want to upload that. But yeah, I just kind of want to take a break, guys. And hope you understand. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll talk to you guys sometime soon with another After Effects tutorial. See you guys. Bye.